Hey guys, we have arrived here in Ensenada, Mexico aboard the Carnival Radiance. We are headed out to explore. We're gonna bring you guys with us. Okay, first thing to know is we got off of the ship and there is a kind of van that will take you into the center of town for four US dollars. So make sure you have some cash on you. That is a round trip. Um, the last one, well, for today, uh, we have to be on board at 4.30. So the last one in from the center of town is gonna be at 4.15. So it's just a 10, 15 minute ride in from the center of town. You could do that, or you can do the walkway here and walk into town. Of course, we're gonna try to get our steps in. So we're gonna do that um, option, walk as far as we can, maybe into town. If we don't make it in there, we'll just come back here and hop on um, the ride and take that. But let me show you here real quick what they've got. They've got um, the buses here for the various tours, like the wine tours and such. And then on the other side is where you're going to find the truck for transportation into the center of town. When you come off the ship, there's several places where you can take pictures. Here is one of them with the word Ensenada, the name of the city. And then on the other side, you can get one with just the ship if you go a little bit farther up the walkway right here. There's a variety of ways to get around town when you walk from uh, the other side of the ship and then you get to this part here you'll see where you can get taxi you can um, rent different types of vehicles all terrains or other types of transportation throughout the city so there's really a lot of options we're still going to stick with walking because we got to get those steps in though headed into the center of town and we're going to stop here real quick and take a look at this little memorial area that they've got right before you get up here to town, I'll walk around, show you guys around a little bit here.
All right, so we did do a little bit of shopping. We don't normally do a ton of shopping because obviously we have nowhere to put stuff, but I did, I've been searching for a ring for my thumb, so I got this silver ring here. I'm sure it's probably more like stainless steel, but it was about 15 US dollars, not too shabby. And then um, my nephew is graduating from high school soon and he really likes soccer. So we got him a Mexico soccer jersey to put with the rest of his gift. So, and this was 20, 25, 25, 25 US dollars. So that's not bad at all. We did pretty good here. We're gonna see if we can find some place to grab either snack or some lunch. So let's see what they've got uh, food wise to offer that's not in the tourist kind of area the center we're gonna go over to a different area and see if we can spot more of like local um, tacos um, and see if we can get into that spot here in town um, we are going to be eating some tacos and as you can see Rob's already enjoying his orange Fanta <laughs> so we'll uh, let you know how these tacos are but I have a feeling they're going to be really good
All right, we are back on board. We had a good time walking around in Ensenada. Really such an easy place to get around. When we got off, I just asked a local who was <laughs> walking by um, in Spanish where the center of town was. She told us exactly where to turn to get to the right place. And she was absolutely correct. She led us, she did not lead us astray. So um, you already saw the things that we purchased, but we did find that great taco place called Tacos al gente al chente i'll put it here on the screen so you can see what it is but it is before you get to the center of town so it's kind of a local um, more locally vibe type place rather than um the big restaurants uh where all you know all of the the center of town where all the tourist stuff is so you you can eat there or if you're looking for something more you know uh, authentic feeling then maybe someplace like this would be good and also right next door to us as we were coming out there was this little uh, popcorn place called <laughs> in English happy factory um, and she had all different flavors she probably had I don't know 10 12 different flavors of popcorn but we went with the chili mix so this is a mix of all of the different popcorns that they have that have chili flavor so uh, I don't know should I try one out should I try one real quick yeah, let me do that. Oh, that was easy to open. Let's see. This one is with some lime. Mmm. That was really good. It tastes kind of like Takis, if you've ever had those. All right. I think this is the cheddar and jalapenos. Also, that had a little zing to it. That was really good. Okay. That one is more cheddar than jalapeno. And then there's one more. This is supposed to be the spicy one, the straight chili. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep, got a little more kick to it. They're all pretty good though. And so for our lunch, the three tacos and the Fanta, we paid about seven US dollars for that and it was absolutely delicious as you can see all fresh cooked it right there in front of us and then the popcorn for this size bag here we paid i think it was like around a dollar fifty um in us dollars so not too bad pretty easy day we got to see the fountain show we got to walk through town eat uh you know some tacos which you don't want to miss out on and a fun little treat with some popcorn so hopefully this helps you guys out on your trip to ensenada on your next cruise Hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions about Ensenada, leave me those in the comments and give me a like. We'll see you soon.